Hello everybody. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, uh, about quarter to ten. Uh, I think it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, but I'm not sure. I guess it is. Uh, I just wanted to show you the uh, chain security system that we have installed. And you can see this is the east side of the bridge. And you can see exactly, I'll try to do this as slowly as possible, how we have installed everything here. Uh, we have a chain that is essentially a towing chain that's bolted right through the 2 by 8 joists, uh, properly washered on both sides, shouldn't go anywhere. And then you can see the other side is bolted right through, through with an eye bolt. Let's see if I can get you a close-up there. There's the eye bolt that uh, goes through the 4x4 four four and the 2x8, and then the chain slowly makes its way down to the knees. And you would not believe that these knees would be so strong, but again, the knees are there just to hold the bridge in place in case any, and there will be water coming in here, uh, in, in case the water gets so high that it tries to lift the bridge. But this chain is made for towing, it's made for timber work, and it should be pretty pretty strong and able to take care of everything. Uh, you can see we use a little shackle at the top there. So if for whatever reason we need to lengthen or shorten uh, the chain lines, we can do that without any issues at all. We don't have to take the bolt out. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is we are going to take U-bolts from an automotive application and we are going to pull the chains together to take care of any of the uh, slack that you see. And we can adjust those depending on how high up the chain we go. And again, if you take a look at that one over there, uh, we can either chain it, or pardon me, U-bolt it right to the base there, uh, which is probably the smartest way to go. And it will take any slack out of that chain that you see. And again, I'm going to zero, zoom in if I can here. Apparently not. Oh, I'm already zoomed in. So you can see that uh, knee way over there still has the orange line where we attached to it. That one was all, it took everything I could do to push that uh, one inch auger straight through. But it, it made it and I uh, kept having to pull it out to get rid of all of the uh, ground up stuff that was in the hole. But it's a one inch hole. And we just hope that this, this finally holds. But this is uh, the east side. Uh, the west side is essentially identical, so I won't have to bother you with that. But now you can see the chains. We have two, four, five, and where are we going here is number six points uh, of contact. We have six points of contact on the other side. I'm going to zoom you just underneath the bridge here a little bit. And you can see that we went through one knee on one side and came out a second knee on the other side. Uh, I cannot possibly imagine something so powerful to pull that out. Those knees go down into the earth, probably around five or six feet, and then they travel over to, you can see the cypress trees there, and you can see a big cypress knee right there. Uh, we didn't have to use that one, but we used the one, I believe, to the right of it. So they're, they're pretty solid. I'm, I'm not at all worried that they're, they're going to rip through. In fact, there's uh, uh, one right there that you can see. It's, ex it's so strong. It's about 15 inches thick. So if this thing pulls out, then uh, the end of the world's here. So anyhow, that's it from uh, Woodwind Acres and the chain um, uh, security system that we've put on the bridge. Hopefully that will work. All for now.